Hey everybody. Last spring I, I started my a little hydroponic greenhouse and basically I ended up growing with DWC and, and cocoa core. So this video is a follow up on mostly my deep water culture. And I'll put a link at the very end of the video for the click from the first video. Well I have some random pictures and uh, video clips that I took throughout the summer. I didn't have a bunch of time. I'm pretty busy but I know a lot of us were pretty busy this summer. so. So here we go. This is right here is my Davidson tomato, and uh, the seeds were sent, sent to me from Lee Davidson. And ended up getting some monster tomatoes. Here's my Celeste tomato, and this is one of my favorite producers. And that was my first tomato of the season I was showing off there. And there's some more pictures of of the Celeste, and believe it or not, I ended up getting probably 20, 25 pounds off this little plant. It's pretty amazing the amount of fruit that. This thing produced. One of the things I did different this year than I did my uh, other years was I kept my PPMs at a thousand throughout the whole summer. And the reason why I did that, Brock Hughes came out with a video, I believe it was the beginning of the summer, talking about a book that he read about you can do more with a thousand um, PPMs than you can with 1500 or 2000. So I wanted to try it and um, I did. I ran the PPMs. A thousand throughout the whole summer, and uh, I didn't notice a difference. Plants looked fantastic, produced a ton of fruit, and uh, really happy. I was kind of surprised uh, on how well they did with the with just just run at a thousand ppm's. I didn't have any uh, nutrient deficiencies or anything like that. So for that one, Brock, thank you. Well, I ended up growing four different plants in my DWC buckets, and first one was the Sleds Determinant. I'm going to show you the pictures of. The second one was a big pig seeds I got from Brock Hughes and then um, what was the other one? Oh, yeah, Davidson tomato and from Lee Davidson and then the last one was the aromas. So, Well this is my little six foot by eight foot greenhouse I got this year and it's amazing how much food you can uh, get out of this thing. There's the Celeste I was talking about. She's just starting to warm up, so we got a whole bunch more tomatoes getting ready to come off this thing. And this right here is my Davidson. And I think I can't. I mean, I had at least 10 plus, or 10 one pound plus tomatoes off this thing. This thing was an absolute monster. So thanks, Lee. Really appreciate the seeds. And I mean, this is the same plant. This thing had huge, huge tomatoes. All over. There it goes, and it just grew and grew. And I didn't really prune it too much, I just kind of let it grow over there. Here's some more of my sleds. And this is what I'm talking about. This thing just unbelievable amount of tomatoes. So if you're looking for a production tomato, definitely try the sleds. Here's the big pig. These seeds were sent from Brock Hughes. And these things. And up being a really, really good, I thought, uh, a good slicing tomato. I mean, these things are almost like picture perfect tomatoes, nice and round. Um, just to me, they seem to taste really, really well. So, thanks, Brock, for sending send me those seeds. And just some more of the, the big pig here. So, I was really impressed on the shape there. And here's my Davidson. I really like this uh, tomato. And if uh, I'm wiping up, mixing these into uh, making a homemade sp spaghetti sauce with the Davidson and the aroma tomatoes. And man, it is just so good, so good. Sorry about all the background noise there. Um, I thought I'd be able to edit it out, edit it out, but uh, I haven't figured it out. But that one right there is a brandy wine. That was the biggest at the time, the biggest tomato I got off Coca Cola, and that's my Davidson uh, tomato. So I just kind of want to show you the size between the DWC and the cocoa core and there's my tomato trellis um, I wouldn't advise growing this but I've always wanted to do it and, uh, hey he's that goofy guy and here is my aromas um, I almost lost these plant I had a really bad case of pythium root rot and I had a message Brock Hughes and he really helped me get this uh, plant back <laughs> plant healthy again and uh, I'm gonna make a video and show you what I ended up doing here so this right here is a Davidson I grew in Coca Cola and ended up getting a pretty nice sized tomato. It had a couple of splits and cracks there. But 
I'll do an update video on my cocoa core and I'll show you how what I end up doing with my Pythium root rot. And uh, as always, thanks for taking the time to watch and comment.